Hey everybody and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas BB Gun Run. Today you join us, uh, basically I'm trying to make up for my mistake of not putting skills in the right place by getting skill books and reading them. The next one we need is an Ellis Nellis Air Force Base. Hello? Hold it right there. Don't you move. Okay. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Running real close to the wall. Uh... Simple enough, run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Uh, I didn't come to attack you. Then just, just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Sounds good. Alright, lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? Apparently. Well, I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. How might be of assistance? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. How do we trust each other if you're going to be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Cool. Um, where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Actually, I'm just here to steal stuff, so... They probably aren't incorrect. Alright, so we just need to make our way over to um, Loyal's house, which I believe is one of the... Uh... <sighs> The, the thingies, but I could be wrong. Woman's Barrack. Pearl's Barracks. Yeah, one of these is Loyal's house, and that's the only one. Children's Barracks. Check that one over there. Men's Barracks. Tent. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's one of those uh, Quonsets. Like over there, but maybe it's on the other side of the base. I don't know. I don't come to Nellis Air Force Base very often because there's really not a lot of reasons to unless you're coming out here to do a quest or get thump thump. Are these unaccessible or? Yeah, these are unaccessible. So where's Loyal's house? Oh yeah, that's always an annoying part. That. Right, uh... So it's not there. Must be on the other side. I just can't remember where his house is. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Is 
sad you can't climb that crane. I've always been sad you can't climb that crane. Alright, that's... Oh, maybe it's one over there. Those look like, like they aren't boarded up. I hope it's not that one all the way over there. So we got Boomer Museum. Workshop. Loyal's house. Loyal, I've come to steal your things. Like specifically this Dean's Electronics. Alright. Um That's some good stuff. Actually while I'm here. Um, combat armor. Yeah. Take these missiles. Yeah. Take all. Not that I'm gonna go start looking around for stuff to take, but if it's right in front of me, why not? As long as I don't get caught. Alright, so we have our second Dean's Electronics. We need one more. Um... And the last one, there's some that are in, like, uh, DLCs, but obviously DLCs are not the easiest ways to go get one. Um, the last one is definitely the hardest. Yes, harder than running through Boomer territory. So we're going to start heading, yeah, that way, south. Keep an eye out for bad guys. That side is filled with fire ants that I don't want to deal with. Sadly, there's just not enough. Like, I was considering taking the entomologist perk, and it just doesn't feel like there's enough uh, bugs in the game to make it worthwhile. Like, yeah, you do 50% more damage to bugs, and I might take it sometime, but... There's this group of ants here in those groups, and there's scorpions in different places, but just not worth it, really. Uh, here's the Mysterious Stranger. Hi, Mysterious Stranger. Or Lonesome Drifter. Son of the Mysterious Stranger. Um, we'll need him for a crust later, but not right now. Dehydration is increased. I think I have some water still. Yeah. Just drink that. Funnily enough, I don't think I've ever traveled south the, coming from this direction the first time. Like, I've always gone from the south to the north instead of the north to the south. So, like, I know there's bad guys over behind that signboard normally. But I don't know if that's only if you come from the other direction. Um, we got a gas station here. Or is it that signboard that they're behind? Might be that one. Hear that popping? Weird. I didn't hear it real quick. Because uh, there's like two gas stations, and I know that one of them has BBs in it. Gun cabinet. I'll take all that. I'll take all your sunset sarsaparilla. I grabbed all the empty bottles too, which I'm not happy about, but I'll get back to that eventually. Gumdrops weigh one. Weirdos. Some dirty water. More gumdrops. Star says the brewer. Bottle cap. Some yeast. And then a bunch of food. I'm over encumbered. Ah! Alright, um, here, take those gun drops I picked up, because those weigh one pound a beast, and, uh, what do I have in miscellaneous I don't want? Yeast. Uh, five of these bottles. Cases. Alright. I, j I just picked it all up again. Oh, okay, I did, never mind. I'm playing too much games at the same times with the keys that are almost the same, but not quite. 
Don't know why I went out. I went out Bill Cosby there, but uh, yeah. So keep thinking I'm looting when I'm not, or thinking I'm taking. Oh, yep, there they are. I was totally right. Uh, so we got a leader and two gunslingers. Uh, ow! That hurt. Uh, we're gonna have to try to do this a little bit more stealthy, like. By the way, we should not be. We should be wearing something better than. We could be wearing the combat armor, but. Uh, ooh. That weighs 26. Combat armor weighs 12 and has higher DT. We're going to hang on to the combat armor and throw down this NCR uniform right here. Like, that we were only carrying it around because it had high DT, but we managed to pick up some higher DT from... Uh, Loyal's house. Reason I'm not wearing the combat armor is because it slows my speed down, and I'm not looking for a heavy, medium armor run. I'm looking for a light armor run. It's just uh, be stupid to throw it away just in case we need it. Oh, we're in caution. I don't know what from those guys. I hope we're gonna ignore them and keep going this way. Real quiet, like coming after me, but they can't find me. Moving too fast. All right, we have made it to where I need to be. This wooden farm over here that's full of cazadors. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak up real close, like as close as we can without getting the cazadors mad at us. So we need to get into that shack over there. lucky we could just sneak right in if we're not lucky I have another plan oop we're not lucky um aid we have a single stealth boy which we will be using to break into this shack here And we gotta be quick about this, but in here there's Sunset Sasperl Foxstar Bottle Cap, and there is a Dean's Electronics somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? I need to leave. Uh... Ah, there it is. Alright, with that we pop out and just immediately ah, run away. I don't know what came was coming after me. Oh, the vipers! The vipers broke my 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 stealth when I accidentally bumped into one of them that because they were following me because I was in caution. Great. And now we got a Cazador chasing us, and uh, I don't know if it's gonna stop. Looks like it stopped. I don't know. I'm just gonna run this way for a bit. Here, might as well activate a fast travel points to, I don't know, yeah, we'll do garage that's over here. See that weird glitch? My pit boy is like glitching out of my arm. I know that's a helmet or something. Weird. I got a ghost skull attached to my arm. It definitely looks like a skull. I'll just tag this fast travel point. And now that we have all three of these uh, Dean's Electronics, which is all the Dean's Electronics you can get actually in the uh, the base game, you can get other ones other places. But yeah, that's it. We're going to read them. 
one, two. Oh, they each increase your repair by three, which means I did not need the last one. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, it's not like I wasted that stealth boy getting three to repair any star sunset star bounce. Uh, sunset sarsaparilla star bottle cap is actually real good. Um, but now we've done that, we're going to head to I Fought the Law, which is down in Bram. Now, I want to go stealth and move real quiet like because there's going to be a couple of banditos right in front of us. Um, these guys are some of the hardest guys to stealth up on in the game, and I don't know why. Like, you're perfectly fine until you're around this corner and then they see you and they. Oops. Got one hit. An important point is to make sure that they aren't pulling out dynamite. If you're pulling out dynamite, you wanna. Oh, there's that guy. Uh, they are not taking damage like I would like. Um, we're going to go find Psycho. Save me, Psycho. Pop a stim pack just to stay alive. See, when we're doing critical strikes, we're doing quite a bit of damage. When we're not, we're doing very little damage. Luckily, we have some decent armor right now. So we don't have to worry about uh, just instantly dying to these guys. Don't want to go down. I need one of you to go down so I can take out the other one. Yeah. No, not particularly. Nice. Because uh, this guy's not wearing a helmet, he doesn't have the damage to us over the other guy. And our six damage from our psycho is actually doing a pretty good job. Good hit. Uh, we got a torso. There's a doctor's bag. And take these guys' stuff. I'll take that helmet. And we're going to go over and repair our trooper helmet with their trooper helmet. All right, um, that went pretty well. There's snipers to the left and right on the uh, walkway, so you gotta want to be careful about those guys. Um, really don't want to tussle with them if you don't have to, because they will disappear once you. Uh, they will disappear once you. Uh, um, finish the quest. Uh, I fought the law. No, no, I fought the law. I don't know what it's called off the top of my head. Alright, so now that we're in here, um, this is the sheriff's office. There's a couple things we want in here. First being some rounds. Second being, there's a repeating cowboy repeater. Not worth a lot, but most important part is the unique sheriff's hat and sheriff's duster. There's also another cowboy repeater in here. I can just never remember where it is, and I don't know why. I'll take the two dobby, dobby pins. Not what I meant to say. There's another repeater somewhere. I just can't remember where. Oh, not a big deal. Alright. Go ahead back out, and we're going to head inside the, uh... 
Vicky and Vance. Yeah, the Vicky and Vance to talk to Johnson Nash. Because he'll give us some uh, information we need. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, what can you tell me about this job? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was so strange about it? Some men stole my package, a man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mention it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. What's so strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, a chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. The first deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Do you know where he was, where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. A uh, cowboy robot like the one over there? Nope. Different fellow. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like you or me. I have to ask you something about something else. Uh. What do you have for sale? We'll see if he has anything good. Um, I need to put on my my talking suit. I'll definitely take a locksmith's reader and a programmer's digest and a today's position. Those are all really good things to grab. Baseball bat nails, cool, but not something that I can use. No BBs, but he can buy all this other stuff. I don't think I have any armor that I shouldn't be wearing besides these two. Um, but I do know I have some... Nope, that weighs nothing. Hang on to that. Buy my bullets. Especially the missiles, which weigh, like, a bunch. Oops. Alright. We're doing business with you. All right, goodbye. And then we'll put on our talking suit. And, uh, hey. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Uh, do you know if the NCR's attacking, playing to attack the prison north of here? I might know something, but my memory ain't what it used to be. Sometimes it needs motivating. I only asked politely the first time, old man. Now tell me. No need to get upset, youngster. We're all friends here. 
I swore not to say a word to no one, but an NCR deserter passed through some days ago and traded for his supplies. According to him, the NCR has decided enough's enough and is going to send in a mess of troops to take back the prison any day now. Good to know. Uh, Alright. So, uh, before we head back to, um... Talk to Eddie. First, we're gonna go over here. Uh, we're gonna head into the Bives and Steve and say, uh, Deputy Beagle. Um, up here on the top is a bunch of drugs, which we're gonna want. And some vodka and a pair of binoculars, which have low weight and high value. Dehydration's increased. We'll get some water. And we're gonna make... Okay, a couple things. First, let's bring out our best gun. Make sure we're in decent armor. Gun on the trooper's helmet. Uh, we should actually wear the heavier armor because currently it doesn't actually matter what kind of armor we wear. And we're going to pop some Psycho. Psycho, 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 Psycho. Before we head inside. A good dose of psycho, some decent armor. We're, we'll be able to take this on fairly easily, I hope. Um, we are hurt, which means we're gonna try to. What do I have to eat? Some gecko sticks, right? Yeah, we'll eat one of those. And, uh. We'll start getting our health going up a little bit. Where'd those guys go? Light detour because there's a tail of a junk town turkey vendor in here, which we totally want. Yeah, sneak attack critical, which is great, and we'll just keep putting rounds into them as much as we can. But this is one of the major benefits of. Ooh, nice. The uh, BB gun. It is a silenced weapon. Uh, with high enough sneak, people will actually have a hard time finding it. Another Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap right there. Now, they shouldn't be having this hard of a time finding me. But they are for some reason. Weird. Nice critical hit. Now, normally I would, uh... Some Hydra. Hydra's great. I'm glad to... Ooh, and a wrench. I'll take the wrench. Normally I'd go through this back door over here. Um... Problem is, is... If I remember correctly... Yeah, our lockpick's not high enough to get through that door. Um... Or the door that you need to get through to get the key to get through that door. The whole long room, yeah. Beer, dynamite, some steady, farm my rifle. Does steady make me shoot better? So I'll pop that too. Yeah, weapon spread reduced. That's cool. Better at sniping. Hydra. We'll make our way up quietly around here. Oh, and not what I was expecting, but not the worst. Oh yeah, that really increases our ability to hit things. Oh, and here's the guy with the flamethrower. Paying more attention. Best way to combat this guy is get up real close, and then he has to use whatever melee weapon he has, which is normally not good. Ah. Re 
reload. Oh man, I am really crippled. Um, I'm probably really hurt too, and just no, I'm just crippled. Oh, so weird. I feel like I don't know what's why I'm getting crippled so easy. It's possible that I just don't normally get hit when I play this game. Where's that uh, Hydra? Hydra. Here we go. Hydra. Which should regenerate limb condition. Yeah. As good as a doctor's bag, except highly addictive. Am I, I still under the effects of Psycho? Pretty sure Psycho is one of the only reasons that we're even dealing any damage to this guy. Besides the fact that critical strikes are dope. Nice. Hold still. I think I'm hitting him, but. Funnily enough, I can't really tell because of how the BB gun works. Yes, I know my weapon condition is real bad. Hold still, dude. Nice, and he dropped. Hydra's worn off, that's fine. It should be a dude just sitting right there for some reason. And his friend. Well, that went real well. Um, gun's in bad condition, but that's something we can fix. Grab these. Uh, I don't think we have enough weight to carry that incinerator, sadly. Is it worth anything? Eh, it's got a pretty decent value. I guess suppose we can try to find the weight. Especially since the first thing I'm gonna go do after this is go sell things. Yeah, they were cr crippling my limbs left and right, and I don't know why. Did I loot this guy yet? Yeah, I loot that guy. And here's a Sunset Sarsaparilla machine, which we're just gonna take them all and drink them all. Because I can use the health and the bottle caps. Uh, one of the real nice things about the Bison Sea is there's a bunch of purified water in here. For some reason, purified, purified, purified. That one's dirty, and I don't know why. And there's a bunch more purified water over here, and then stuff in the fridge that we're going to take to sell. Um, we're going to need to repair some weapons into each other, like these varmint rifles. And I should have a bunch of 9mm pistols, but I don't. Um, come here, nerds. Steady, it's real useful. Dynamite. Check this first aid box. And let's see. Uh, what can we? We can put these pistols together. Check miscellaneous. Make sure we aren't carrying anything stupid. Go over to aid. Um. Read this Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. Get our weight down by two. And I thought I had another book. Just can't remember. Oh, a duck and cover. Which we can read to get our weight down by another two. Um, how are we doing for food? 13. We're thirsty. We need sleep, but, um. 
guess we can drop uh, these beers. Yeah, that puts us right under capacity. Hey, Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Uh, I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. If you try to run away instead of fighting with me, I'll kill you myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. But without it, you lead the way. And the reason we did that is, one, it gives us 25 XP, and two, um... I don't plan to come back to the Bison, Steve, much in the years to come, if I ever get out of it. Uh, Beagle take a weapon. I just hope I won't so what we're going to do is we're going to take all Beagle's stuff, except his journal, because that's just sequence breaking. Uh, wait here. And then I'm going to repair his leather, my leather armor with his leather armor. And then because I'm such a nice guy, I'm going to repair his pistol with my pistol. I do hope this ordeal will be over. Uh, Beagle, take a weapon. I just hope I won't have to use it. Um, I'll give him this nine millimeter pistol and all the rounds I have, so he becomes a big deputy. And then we'll give him the sheriff's hat and the sheriff's duster because it amuses me to dress up Beagle Don't like me here too long. I can't wait for it. Like the sheriff. Right, Beagle. I don't plan to come back to the Let's go. I've also liked dressing him up in other funny outfits like the uh, astronaut's outfit. Yeah, that one's pretty good. I don't have anything I want. Take the ball caps, even though I can't take the uh, Nuka Cola because it's just too much weight. And we'll head back out into Prim, and then talk to Beagle again. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Uh, what are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. I even gave you the clothes for it. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Uh, what are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. I'll help bring Law and Order back to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up... Uh, D Beagle? Can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Alright, so I headed to Novak. Sounds good. Um, I think I'm going to call it an episode here because my inventory is so full. I'm going to do some selling and prep. And then next time we will uh, finish off uh, my kind of town. And I fought a lot. So see you then. Bye.